Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week I wanted to talk uh, about a story in the book of Acts where Peter, St. Peter, heals a cripple and then addresses um, the Jewish people um, who crucified Jesus and basically gives them a profession of his faith and of the truth about Christ. This story and this profession of faith that Peter says um, and addresses the Jewish people about what happened um, has a tendency to um, bother a lot of non-Christians because um, it's basically stating that no one can be saved except for under the name of Jesus Christ. So this is the book of Acts chapter 3. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at, the ga at that gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of those who entered the temple, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple. He asked for alms, and Peter directed his gaze at him with John and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention upon them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong, and leaping up he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and recognized him as the one who sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's Astounded. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people, Men of Israel, why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know, and the faith which is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for establishing all that God spoke by mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren, as he raised me up. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you, and it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken, from Samuel and those who came afterwards, also proclaimed these days, You are, son, are the sons of the prophets, and of the covenant which God gave to your fathers, saying to Abraham, And in your posterity shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up his servant, sent him to you first, to bless you in turning every one, of you from your wickedness. And as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple 
and the Sadducees came upon them annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead and they arrested them and put them in custody until the morrow for it was already evening but many of those who heard the word believed and the number of men came to about five thousand on the morrow their rulers and elders and scribes were gathered together in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and all who were of the high priestly family and when they had set them in the midst they inquired by what power or by what name did you do this then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them rulers of the people and elders if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a cripple by what means this man has been healed be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom you crucified whom God raised from the dead by him this man is standing before you well this is the stone which has was rejected by you builders but which has become the head of the corner and there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men they wondered and they recognized that they had been with Jesus but seeing the man that had been healed standing beside them they had nothing to say in opposition but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred with one another saying what shall we do with these men for that a notable sign has been performed through them is manifest to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem and we cannot deny it but in order that it may spread no further among the people let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in this name so they called them and charged them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus but Peter and John answered them whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God you must judge for we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard and when they had further threatened them they let them go finding no way to punish them because of the people for all men praise God for what had happened for the man on whom this sign of healing was performed was more than 40 years old this is an amazing story because it shows the boldness of those who are uneducated men who are following Christ who were convicted uh, of their belief in Christ they saw Jesus they saw him come back from the dead they saw him get crucified they learned from him they believed in him and they healed people in his name Peter addressed the Jews that crucified him and told them that they were wrong and told them that there is salvation in no one else other than Jesus Christ this is why this is such a controversial story because it is saying that anyone who does not believe in Christ or who does not who is not Christian will not be saved so thanks again for watching the upper room I'm Jared if you're not Christian yet convert thanks again for watching See you next week.